Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how Nvidia has released a new driver for both Windows and Linux that just basically unlocks or removes the LHR for their NVIDIA 30 series, 3000 series, whatever you want to call it, or possibly their 40 series. Now I do have a 49A on the way. It should be here relatively soon. We'll do our normal testing data, put it all on Reddit just for you guys. But right now I bumped into it by accident, right? So using an older version of T-Rex Miner where it tries to uh, enable a certain LHR rate, hits that rate and then drops it down like LHR 74, 73.5, 72.5, whatever hits that rate it gets locked and then it unlocks it again and then tries to find it again or find the highest hash rate that you could obtain this is a 3070 ti with the newer versions of t-rex miner we don't need to do that but you do need to enable uh the administrator privileges on it for example if i try to run it on the latest uh 26.8 we're going to bump it to an issue and an error here in just a second and to remove that, we got to right click the T-Rex properties, go to compatibility and then check run this program as administrator and you'll be able to bypass the lock. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Now, when you enable the compatibility administrative mode, um, you do get the full hash rate of the card on the latest T-Rex miner. Obviously I'm not because I'm recording while mining, but it opens up two windows. I just close out the first one, then we're good to go. That should all be irrelevant because now the latest driver allows us to get the full hash rate of the 30 series in general. So I'm gonna install that driver now, 52.25 for Windows, in preparation to receive the 4090 that will be here shortly. And that's when I bumped into this. So let me get the 422.25 installed, see what the full hash rate is without recording a, um, programs like OBS, and then we'll bring you back in and see how uh, Nvidia has unlocked or just, Throw away, threw away the LHR locking feature in general because honestly, it's a waste of time. The mining devs really have to work at unlocking it again. Uh, we know that the leak of their internal information in the past probably helped out in some capacity, but it's really a waste of time. You're playing this cat and mouse game. Uh, it's wasting time on the NVIDIA side, the development side, the administrative side, as well as the individuals, the retailers, the miners and all that stuff really trying to circumvent or unlock or get that extra performance out of it. So it's good that they did this. Let's just see what the hash rate is and we'll be right back. So a real quick install of driver 522.25. You can see it verified here in front of you on your screen. We were able to immediately get the full hash rate of this card without having to apply the run as administrator privilege um, through T-Rex Miner or anything like that. Just double click, launch it. it, makes it a little bit easier for the end user. I know it's not a hard step to do, but you got to think about the average end user doesn't want to do any extra steps to get hashing or mining on their GPUs. That's why we create content for you in the community to help you out, get the best efficiency or performance per hash rate. But we're getting the full hash rate, no extra steps needed whatsoever. Nvidia has stopped it. And there's a couple of things cited in this article, uh, you know, talking about, you know, now that Ethereum has switched to proof of stake is no longer appealing. Uh, to it's no longer advantageous to continue the LHR lock. Uh, it's not really helping anyone, right? So NVIDIA, their dev team, their administrators, uh, administrators need to do some work on their end to lock down the cards to try to make it more appealing, less appealing for miners, which I don't think is true. It, it was never really less appealing for miners. Uh, it was, miners are still gobbling 30 series up uh, like there was no tomorrow when the craze was happening because the Ethereum profitability was so high. Uh, it it made extra work for the minor devs and individuals to try to bypass those locks. But eventually, once the, the domino started to fall and it was one program getting pa past the locking mechanism and another program and another program, it was basically a done deal. And it was just a waste of resources on NVIDIA's side and on the minor dev side. But there are other cryptocurrencies out there that are you know, users can mine. Some of them were LHR lock, like Ergo was at the very beginning. Uh, now that that's completely null and void, we can get the full hash rate out of these GPUs and not have to worry about it. Now, will they bring it back in the future? Maybe it could be depending upon like, you know, the next mining boom, if there is one, what cryptocurrency it is, what coin it is, what algorithm it is, you know, does it impact Nvidia, their stock, their supply? You know, are gamers going to revolt and be upset again because all their GPUs are being bought up or, uh, you know, in mass or, or droves from mining operations? We'll just have to wait and see. I don't think it was 
a move they could have done. It's only been a little over a year since they introduced LHR May 2021, um, but it was defeated. Uh, you know, a few months after, let's say at least six months after, you know, we we found ways to get you know the LHR lock at you know 74 percent, 72 percent to try to stay right below that limit to where the lock doesn't in, engage. But all that back and forth was just unnecessary. Nvidia, as I mentioned, should have just stayed away from it, not add it back, not remove it, or not continue it forward into the 40 series, which I'm hoping to see and test tomorrow or in the future by the time you're watching this uh, with the 4090 series. So stay tuned for that. It's a good move. We'll see how things go. Just need 522.25 on Windows or 520.56. 0.06 on Linux and Hive. And again, some Hive users have reported issues, you know, like fan readings are incorrect. There are some bugs that need to be worked out in the Hive or Linux distribution, but we'll see how things pan out in the long run. Just NVIDIA, no need to carry it on. Thank you for doing this. Let's go ahead and keep on hashing, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. I want to know your thoughts down in the comments, but on the way out, hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. I'll catch you next one. Take care.